Hey guys, today's uh, video is just going to be a quick little tutorial on installing uh, Battle.net for Linux. Um, we're going to be using bottles today. I, I am aware that this is possible through Lutris, but um, in the past I've had some issues with it. So uh, today we're going to be using bottles and uh, let's get into it. So first things first, I just wanted to take a second to highlight um, the application we're going to be using today, and Bottles. Bottles exists to manage uh, wine containers called Bottles, <laughs> um, and these allow you to uh, create environments in which you can run Windows software. Uh, it's available on Flathub, which should make it available to virtually everybody. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to the Bottles Flathub page as well as to the setup for Flathub if your distro doesn't have it uh, set up out of the gate. So here we are in the Bottles application. Um, I already have, I've, I've run through the first time setup already. You may get a few pop-ups and questions asking you about how you'd like to use it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. So for the purpose of the tutorial today, I'm going to be creating a new bottle, giving it the name battle.net. Uh, we plan to use this for gaming. And we're going to go ahead and create. It's simple as that. So we'll let this uh, create our bottle for us. And so now we're going to click uh, install programs. So here we get a list of uh, different programs that have been tested by the bottles team. Uh, and they have ratings uh, varying from platinum to bronze it seems. Uh, and we're just going to find the battle.net launcher. Here we are. And click this little floppy disk. Start installation. So Bottles is going to go out and uh, grab everything we need for this app to install. Um, and I'll meet you back here once uh, it's finished up. So oh, here we are in our bottle. Battle.net has finished installing. Um, there's just one more thing we have to do uh, before we can launch the app. Because the Battle.net app specifically is kind of fussy. Um, so we're just going to come back to the main menu. Click on this hamburger menu. Go to Preferences, Runners, Wine GE, and just make sure that the latest Wine GE Proton Runner is installed. Um, then we're going to come back into our bottle, scroll down till we find Settings, and then I'm going to come to where it says Runner and choose Wine GE. Now, there's a lot of other cool things you can do um, in the settings of a bottle. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that up to your discretion, though. This is just to make sure it's running. So, after that's applied, we should be able to just come in here and launch our app. Simple as that. Um, I'll sign in and um, show you guys the app working properly, but uh, essentially this is the end of the tutorial. So here we are inside the Battle.net app. Um, it scanned for games, didn't find any, but if you have games, maybe on a external hard drive or on like a, a separate Windows drive, you can come here and uh, just tell them where it is and uh, they'll figure out the rest. Uh, here, just for regular first time startup stuff, but uh, other than that, that's uh, the end of this tutorial. I'm thinking about maybe next week doing uh, a video on managing uh, add-ons for World of Warcraft in Linux. Uh, I've really been enjoying playing the uh, Missa Pindaria remix. Uh, Cataclysm Classic. Eh. Eh. But, uh, <laughs> my Warcraft opinions aside, uh, thanks for watching, uh, have a good day.